Ostend is a cosmopolitan city located in West Flanders on the Belgian coast. This charming seaside town is known for its long sandy beach and promenade, where visitors can find shops, bars, and restaurants. Ostend is a fairly small city that makes it easy for visitors to get around on foot, with many interesting attractions such as the Mercator, a three-masted 1930s sailing ship that now acts as a floating museum and the seaside aquarium, Ostend is a great place for all the family to visit. Before we get into the top 10 things to do in Ostend, we've included links in the description to various discount codes and links to resources of things to do, so make sure you check those out. At number 10 is Fort Napoleon. Fort Napoleon is a pentagon-shaped fort built in the Napoleonic era. At the end of the 18th century, France annexed the region, and Napoleon feared an invasion from England via Ostend Harbour, and therefore ordered an imposing fort to be built in the dunes in 1811. Since 1995, the Flemish Heritage Association has managed the fort. It made sure it was restored and turned into an open monument and museum. Number 9 is the sailing ship Mercator. This restored former training ship first launched in 1932 and is now a floating maritime museum. Designed by Arctic explorer Adrian de Gerlache, she started her service first as a scientific expedition vessel. Then during World War II, the ship was conscripted into the British Navy for duty as a submarine spotter. Later on, she got to participate in some exciting sailing races. Built in Scotland, this three-masted schooner is one of Belgium's most prized vessels and a must-see for all the family. At number 8 is the Maria Hendrika Park. The Maria Hendrika Park is an area of about 45 hectares, situated south of the city centre. The park has a variety of different ponds, open grass areas, two playgrounds, and the Koninghof with a cafeteria and restaurant, rowing boats, pedal boats, and a miniature golf course. It is a brilliant park for joggers and walkers, and great for families with kids. Number 7 is the Royal Galleries of Ostend. The Royal Galleries of Ostend are a seaside neoclassical arcade on an embankment near the beach. These architectural points of interest extend from the Royal Villa in the east to the Hippodrome Wellington horse racing track in the west. The galleries are over 380 meters long, with a large pavilion at each end. Built between 1902 and 1906, they were reputedly a high favorite site by King Leopold II and were a way for the royal family to travel from the beach to their villa. At number 6 is the Japanese Garden. In the middle of Konings Park is a beautiful Japanese garden called Shinkete, which means deep sea garden. The garden was created in the Kayushiki style and includes water features, bamboo, statues, and a rock garden. Visitors can wander the winding paths or simply relax and enjoy the peace and quiet. Number 5 is the Ostend City Museum. This museum has a collection containing the history of the city of Ostend and the surrounding area. Located on the Langstrat overlooking the North Sea, the Ostend City Museum is housed in a building that was once home to Napoleon and Queen Louise Marie. After undergoing renovations in 2012, the old manor officially became the Ostend City Museum. Those who visit will be greeted with numerous artifacts, detailing the history of the former royal family, as well as other exhibits capturing Ostend's history throughout the years. At number 4 is the North Sea Aquarium. In the North Sea Aquarium, visitors can discover over 60 living sea animals in 13 aquariums, as well as stuffed rare fish and a collection of North Sea shells, crustaceans, and echinoderms. For kids, there is an informative and fascinating encounter with the fauna and flora of the North Sea. Number 3 is St. Petrus in Poliskerk. St. Petrus in Poliskerk is the main church in Ostend and has beautiful neo-Gothic architecture. It is built directly on the remnants of an older church that succumbed to fire. Supported by King Leopold II, this church was constructed first in 1899 and took six years to complete. It's a highly attractive must-see for visitors, who will marvel at the magnificent tall spires of the church as well as the stained glass windows, which were replacements for the previous ones lost to artillery fire during World War II. At number 2 is the Amandine Ship Museum. The Museum Amandine is an ode to Belgium's marine history, particularly when it comes to fishing, which was a big part of Ostend's culture. The vessel docked after its last voyage in 1995, and after two years of hefty revamping, has become a shipboard museum for visitors who will be attracted by its sharp green hull. While aboard, guests can learn how the Amandine operated while catching huge amounts of cod and other fish that populate the North Sea. 
13 years after dropping anchor for the last time, this intricate exhibit makes for an educational experience for all ages. And at number one is Ostend's Art Museum. The Musee is a museum in Ostend specializing in Belgian art from 1830 onwards. The Art Museum has an exceptional collection of modern and contemporary art from Belgian artists or artists who live and work in Belgium. This makes the museum unique amongst other museums in Flanders. The permanent collection focuses on Belgian art from 1850 to the present, and highlights include works by James Ensor, Leon Spilliart, and Constant Permic. So that sums up our top 10 things to do in Ostend. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Until next video, have a great day.